Good morning. We will pay attention to discount allowed to debtors when they settle their accounts within the required time so that they can receive discount. Allow 10% discount on a debt. So they give us the debt as 180. The total debt is 100% equals 180. So if we want to calculate the discount, it will be 10 over 100. Received 180 after 10% discount was allowed. So the 180 equals 90% of the total debt. If we want to calculate the discount here, we will divide by 90 and not 100 because 90% equals the 180 rand. It is therefore very important to determine whether the total debt is given or the amount paid is given because the calculation will be done differently. Determine discount allowed when the amount received is provided. We receive 50 rand, we allow 10 rand discount, so in addition to the 50 rand that he paid that we will reduce his account, we will also reduce the account with the 10 rand, so the total debt of Michael will be reduced by 60 rand. A debt of a debtor reduces on the credit side with 60 rand. The bank will increase on the debit side with 50, the amount that you paid into the bank. And discount allowed is the expense that will increase on the debit side with 10 rand. Determine the discount on the amount received. We received 50 rand from Michael and we allow 10% discount on the money that we receive. So the total amount that we receive is 50 rand. We give an additional 10% discount, so we will also reduce his account with the 5 rand. So his total debt will decrease with the amount that we receive from him, the 50 plus the 5 rand discount, so it will decrease with 55 rand. The debt of the debtor reduces with 55 rand on the credit side of your debtor's control account. The bank will increase with the amount that we paid into the bank on the debit side, 50 rand. Discount allowed expense will increase on the debit side with 5 rand. Determine the discount when the amount received is provided. Mamalori traders received 600 from Michael after 20% discount was allowed. If he paid the total debt, he would pay 100%. Discount of 20% was allowed, so we actually received 80% from him. They give us the amount received as 600, so the 80% that we receive equals 600 rand. If we want to calculate the discount, the percentage that I won, 20% at the top, divided by the percentage that I know, 80% at the bottom, times 600, and that will give me a discount of 150 Rand. If I want to calculate the total debt, I want to know what is 100%. The one that's given is 80% times 600, and that will give me 750 rand. In the general ledger, the debtor's control asset will decrease on the credit side with the amount paid and with the discount. The bank asset will increase on the debit side with the amount deposited, 600 rand. Discount allowed expense increases on the debit side with 150 rand. Bank is debited because the asset increases with the 600 rand that's deposited. Debtor's control is credited to decrease assets with the amount that was paid. Discount allowed is debited to decrease the equity because if expenses is paid, it means that the profit will go down and the owner will receive less profit. Debtor's control will be credited to reduce the asset 
with the 150 Rand discount allowed. This entry will be recorded in the Cash Receipts Journal and the business will issue a receipt as proof of payment. Determine the discount allowed when the total debt is provided. Becky settled his debt of 600 after 10% discount was allowed. The total debt is 100%. Discount is 10%. So the amount that we will receive will be 90%. The amount given is his total debt. So therefore, 100% of his debt will equal 600 rand. If I want to calculate the discount, the percentage that I want is 10 divided by the percentage that we know 100 times 600 will give me 60 rand. And if we want to find out what is the amount received, we will multiply the 600 with 90% and that will give me 540 Rand. The debtor's account will be decreased on the credit side because the asset decreases with the 540 Rand paid and the discount of 60. Bank will be debited because the asset increases with 540 that's paid into the bank. Discount allowed expense will increase on the debit side with the expense of 60 Rand. The word that you write in the account, debtors control, indicates that this double entry you will find in the debtors control account. In the debtors control you will write the word discount allowed to indicate that the double entry will be in discount allowed. The bank is debited to increase the asset with 540. Debtors control is credited to decrease the asset with 540. Discount allowed will decrease your profits, so equity will decrease with 60. Debtors control will decrease the assets on the credit side with 60. The entry will be recorded in the cash receipts journal and a receipt will be used as proof of payment. What did we learn? When discount allowed is calculated, you must determine whether the amount received or the outstanding debt is provided. The debtors control account reduces on the credit side with the amount that you receive from the debtor and the discount allowed. Discount allowed is the expense that will increase on the debit side. Bank increases on the debit side with the total amount that was deposited into the bank account.